Maurice Blanchot's faux pas navigates the boundaries between reality and fiction, embodying the existential and philosophical concerns characteristic of his work. At its core, the novella delves into themes of identity, alienation, and the elusiveness of meaning, exemplified through its unconventional narrative structure and fragmented style. The story centers around a narrator who experiences a profound sense of disorientation and detachment. This feeling of estrangement is palpable from the outset as the protagonist finds himself in an unfamiliar, almost surreal situation. The narrative is marked by its introspective quality, revealing the protagonist's internal struggle to reconcile his perception of reality with the seemingly chaotic world around him. Blancot employs a non-linear narrative that reflects the protagonist's fragmented sense of self. The story does not adhere to a traditional plot structure, instead, it unfolds in a series of disjointed episodes and reflections that mirror the disintegration of coherent identity. This approach forces readers to engage with the text on a more subjective level, grappling with the disorienting and often contradictory elements presented. A significant aspect of faux pas is its exploration of language and its limitations. Blanchot's prose is dense and elliptical, often veering into philosophical musings about the nature of communication and the inadequacy of language to fully capture human experience. The protagonist's interactions with others are fraught with misunderstanding and ambiguity, highlighting the theme of communication breakdown and the difficulty of truly connecting with another person. Blanchot's use of first-person narration serves to deepen the reader's immersion in the protagonist's inner world. The narrator's perspective is introspective and self-referential, drawing attention to the act of narration itself as a potentially unreliable and deceptive process. This reflexivity raises questions about the nature of storytelling and the extent to which narrative can construct or distort reality. The setting of faux pas is intentionally vague and shifting, contributing to the overall sense of disorientation. There are frequent shifts in location and time, further blurring the lines between the protagonist's internal experiences and the external world. This fluidity underscores the idea that reality is not fixed but is constantly in flux, influenced by personal perception and subjective interpretation. The novella also grapples with existential themes, particularly the concept of the absurd. The protagonist's experiences reflect a confrontation with the absurdity of existence, characterized by a lack of clear purpose or meaning. This existential tension is portrayed through the protagonist's encounters with various characters and situations that seem arbitrary and nonsensical, reinforcing the idea of a world without inherent order. Blanchot's stylistic choices, such as his use of sparse dialogue, fragmented sentences, and repetitive motifs, create an atmosphere of estrangement and detachment. These techniques are instrumental in conveying the protagonist's psychological state and the overarching theme of alienation. The fragmented narrative structure mirrors the protagonist's fragmented self, emphasizing the difficulty of achieving a coherent sense of identity. Ultimately, faux pas challenges readers to reconsider their assumptions about reality, identity, and narrative. The novella's complex interplay of language, self, and existential themes invites readers to question the nature of storytelling and the possibility of finding meaning in an inherently chaotic world. Through its innovative narrative techniques and philosophical depth, Blanchot's work remains a thought-provoking exploration of the limits of human understanding and the nature of existence.